first up, just to recap, for those of you who aren't familiar with Killian's journey, he's taken on the Etap de Tour, 167 kilometers long, featuring 4,700 meters of elevation gain. It's one of the world's hardest sportives, featuring climbs like Alpe d'Huez and the Col de Galibier. It's gonna be a tough ask, and Killian's been training hard. He's joined with me now. Killian, how are you feeling going into the event? I kind of just want to do it now. I've, uh, I feel okay, you know, I feel like, um, I've done as much training as I can fit in without starting to make me and my wife and my kids unhappy. You know, I've, I've gone on some really long rides. The only really thing I'm still really worried about is the heat, which uh, I, ca I can't really replicate very easily in Ireland. Ho hopefully the weather gods will be a yeah. little bit mer merciful. Try not to worry about it too much, because I think you're going to a cracking job so far in training and getting ready for this. And I know it's such a tough challenge to balance everything around family and and a job and all that sort of stuff too, and um, I feel your pain. Before we send you off on an aeroplane, we have got a test today. So first up, when you started this journey, you took on Alpe de Swift, yeah. and you made it up the climb two hours and two minutes, which is a commendable effort. Had a few months of training now, and I want today to be your first, you know, your real test to see how much you've improved by yeah. up the Alp. But before that, let's flash back a bit and just recap on how the last few months have gone for Killian. Things began to fall into place straight away for Killian after we last caught up with him, and the support from you guys absolutely flowed in, which proved a major boost to our Irish hero. Killian loved all the support, although it must be said he took some of the advice a little too literally. A lot of the advice um, was, uh, oh, do you know what you should do? You should lose some weight. In an effort to do so, oh, we haven't really eaten any carbs, and um, I kind of feel it. We've established then that depriving the man of pasta has some serious repercussions. And despite that minor Tagliatelle related setback, Killian went on to win an actual race on Zwift. I won a Zwift race. It was only four kilometers long, but so what? Think about Olympic medals for races that are 4K long. To the cynics, the skeptics, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry you can't dream big. After this first major victory, Killian then embarks on his first real test before the attack the Wicklow 200. So about 137 kegs gone. And uh, I'm, on me, I'm on my own. Absolutely nobody, nobody behind me, nobody in front of me. I was starting to worry that I was getting, I went the wrong way there. Maybe I have. However, it seems that the Wicklow 200 wasn't all plain sailing for our man. Yeah, fueling. I, I, uh, I had a lot of gels, which meant for the last Two hours, I was just really, really focused on trying not to shit myself. It gives great clarity of mind, you know, when uh, when that's what you need to focus on. It kind of took the pain away from my legs because I was very, very much focused on on the other task at hand. Too many gels then. Jelly belly, some call it. An easy mistake to make. Luckily, it didn't result in a compromising situation, but he did emerge from the Wicklow 200 with a huge boost in confidence, and rightly so. He finished his first event, half the climbing of the attack, but still 200 kilometers long, so things were really shaping up well. But then suddenly, Killian experienced a major setback. He went to a wedding in Marbella. As his self-appointed coach, manager, and motivational guru, I was concerned and worried because this sort of frivolous activity so late in the game can prove catastrophic. And it did result in some serious consequences. I wore these shoes for the wedding, which I've actually worn loads of times before. I wore them for my own wedding, but uh, didn't really fit very well. And I really, really hurt my heels. So I have two big unburst blisters on the back of, on the back of each foot. and. Um, Bit worried about those. Uh, they're going to need to 
crossed over and heal in the next couple of weeks. So I've only got a couple of weeks. Swollen feet aside, our hero picked himself back up, dusted off his cycling shoes and promptly took on Mont Ventoux over on Zwift, his longest climb to date. Oh, so I've just tried to um, climb up Mont Ventoux on Zwift, which I've never done before. I've always done Alpe de Zwift and uh, I was fully expecting the Mont Ventoux one to take me three hours and uh, I barely lasted over half of that. It was just, it was actually the heat, which is really worrying because that's the thing I'm kind of most concerned about for the attack, is the heat. Quite late in the day for Killian to discover he doesn't like riding in the heat when he is going to the south of France in summer. Let's just hope it's the insulation in his house that's causing the issue. Either way, it's time to catch up with the man himself now and get him ready for his final test up out the Zwift and see if he's got any faster. I think he has, but I think the real question is, how much faster? Gotta make sure he's getting his kit on. Here he is, all kitted up. Good to see you, ready. Final test, Killian, out the Zwift. We have arrived. Yeah. The big day. Um, so basically, you're gonna go bottom to top, fast as you can. Yeah. I'm going to race you. So I think last time it worked really well. How I kind of motivated you. Yeah. So I think yeah. if we're side by side, I think I'll really be able to push you on, get the most out of yourself. But I've devised a bit of a quiz just to even up the odds. Okay. So, so it's no, not, I know no you like your facts. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You ready for that? Yeah. That's yeah. my thing. Uber okay, comfortable. Okay. Nice one. And the training's gone okay, has it on Zwift? It's gone yeah. well. Yeah. We're we doing the sessions I prescribed. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. I've done a few of the Ineos ones, which were tough. And uh, I've been going up up to Zwift kind of as often as as I can. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm in a perverse way. I'm starting to enjoy going up up to Zwift. That's good. That's good to hear. It's shaping up well, Killian. You know, yeah. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about your chances. Yeah. I've got you a little something. Yeah. Um, to kind of get you ready. You know, get you in the frame of mind. Now it's nothing special. I didn't really have a massive budget, um, but uh, did get, oh did get it personalised. <laughs> so if you whack that on, just kind of get yourself in the mood. Bit of a bit of a. <laughs> <laughs> I did the whole the bride thing. I, I didn't. That wasn't meant to be. That it was supposed to just be stat attack. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, but there you go. Get in the frame of mind. Then you get that on you. You have a walkout. Come on. Come on. This is the team bus. Get pumped. <laughs> Right then, mate, this is it. Big final effort, months of training, months of hard work. It's all coming down to this moment. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Have you done your revision for your quiz skills? Oh, I've been revising my whole life, Connor. I am slightly nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right then, good luck. Cheers, see you at the top. Let's do it. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, What's up, four, dude? three, two, one. It's on. Can't let him get the gap from the start. Right, guys. And the quiz is starting straight away. It, it, right it, it is. So the way this is going to go down is you've both given each other questions, which I'm going to deliver as an impartial adjudicator. And for every correct answer you give in cycling trivia, you get a time bonus. But for every incorrect answer, you get a time penalty. So here you go. Question one. You were the Irish road race champion in 2018. But who finished in second place? Oh gosh! Yes! <laughs> no, no, I do know Question this one. Question two. I do know. It's, it's quick fire. It's quick <laughs> fire, Connor. Brian Mullen. There you go. All right. All right, all right. Sam Bennett. These are too yes, easy. Yes, right. 112. Oh, Richard Carapaz. 140. Oh, Motorola. Ben Hermans. How many times have you ridden the World Champs Road Race? Four times, I reckon. Yes, you have. Uh, name the four countries in which you took part in, in the World Champs Road Race. USA, yep. Norway. Yep. You got three uh, seconds. Austria, three. Austria. Two. Um, what? Uh, wrong. Oh. Sorry. It was Britain. Great Britain. Where you are right now? <laughs> Sam Bennett. Azerbaijan. Luke Rowe. How many professional team time trials did you take part in? I'd say three. Two. To the nearest 100, how many Twitter followers do you have? Oh my God. 9,000. Longford. Um, Lucas Postelberger. Brian Thomas. What was the name of the first GCN video you were ever in? Uh, oh, that's a trick question. 
I think it's the, the how, how long can you hold the watts for? Yeah, yes. we'll give you that. It was yeah. incredible. That was rubbish. So, Killian, okay, you're expecting big that. things. You are the stat man. Who was the first rider to win both the Giro Donna and Tour de France Feminine in the same season? Jeannie Longo. It's Catherine Marcel. Oh, Lucien Eimer. Anna van der Breggen. George Rons. Alfredo Binder. No, it was... Because uh, Stantic Jared Dengel. Yes! Yeah, I'm giving it to you. You got it right, yeah. I'm giving it to him. Give it to him. I'm the judge. I make the rules. Just to add, I'm now 25 seconds off on you, Killian. First copy in Andre Mahe, 1949. Yeah, it's triple points. 1892. Tadej Pogacar is the second youngest tour winner ever. But who is the youngest? You've got this. This is this is he, This is easy. Henri easy Cornet. for us. Yes. Connie Carpenter. They all won four Monument Classics, but not five. Sam Bennett, Dan Martin, and Shay Elliott. Uh, yes, correct. So that, I mean, that again, I think we, we're giving at least five points for that one because these are way harder than Donna's questions. Uh, which rider has been a teammate of Jan Ulrich, Axel Merckx, Chris Froome, Alessandro Pataki, and Sam Bennett? Mark Cavendish? Yes. Uh, they all won a stage of the three Grand Tours in one year. Yes, correct. This is what I used to do before I started training on a bicycle. 11 seconds. Yes, good. Uh, and your last question is, I've completed all three Grand Tours I've started. I've ridden two of the five Monument Classics and I've been a teammate of Tour de France winner Carlos Sastra, world champion Tour Hushovd and Giro winner Ryder Hagedal. Who am I? <laughs> Dan Lloyd. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Having calculated and totted up the points, I can tell you that Killian has got 21 points and Connor has only got six. With the addition of some dubious maths, that translates to a 22 minute uh, time bonus for Killian, whereby, Connor, you're gonna have to take that as a time penalty and, and get off the bike actually and just stop right now. Oh, okay, right. And you can resume minutes. in 22 minutes, starting from now. Okay, have a little breather. Okay, my time to jump back on the bike is drawing near. Two minutes to go until I need to start chasing Killian up out to Zwift. The man is doing well though. His best sector stat on sector 14, the one he just completed, is two minutes and 30 seconds. He's done it today in two minutes 10. So he's on, he's on for a good run, I think. Um, but I think when I jump back on the bike, give you a bit of fire. Yeah, you don't want to be caught. Okay, my time penalty has elapsed. It's You're time. allowed back on the bike now, I'm letting you on. It's time for the hare to chase the fox. Here we go. The hare to chase the fox? <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. I think it's the hare to chase the tortoise. Oh yeah, that's I, it. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mean to call you a tortoise. <laughs> well, that's what but I think but a, a fox tortoise. is quite a fast animal. Either way, I'm chasing Killian And hares down. never chase foxes, because foxes would eat the hare. Why would the, what's the incentive of the hare to chase a fox? Let's not get into semantics. Try and eat down that advantage. Come on, Connor. So Killian, just approaching hairpin 11. He's got 11 hairpins to go to the top. I'm coming up to hairpin 15. He's got a good advantage on me. Have pulled some back though. He's got about 14 minute advantage. I'm just doing all I can to try and catch him. I am getting competitive, I can't resist it. <laughs> I oh, just no. want to try and get to you. I've gone too hard from the start. <laughs> my, uh, my quads are burning. I feel like a tandoori curry. Just gonna, I'm just gonna have to ignore them. <laughs> it's doing my own thing. <laughs> okay, Killian has just passed a three kilometer to go marking out the Zwift. He's doing amazing actually so far. Smashing his PBs in all the sectors. I'm chasing him down as much as I can. Currently about two minutes behind him. I'm breathing down your neck, mate. I'm nearly there. Keep it going, come on.
We've got an exciting race on our hands as we edge into the closing stages. Killian, I don't know where he's pulled this out from, but he's managed a negative split. So his power numbers are actually going up in the last third of the climb. And this has been holding Connor off. But Connor is surging behind him. And the gap now, as Killian approaches the final hairpin, is just 17 seconds between the two of them. Nearly at that final hairpin. One kilometer to go. I can't close the last gap. I think I'm blowing. <laughs> I actually think I'm blowing. Uh. The gap, the gap is only at 14 seconds. It's only, it's coming down. It's not coming down quick it's enough. Killian's upping his cadence and he's upping his power. 350 watts. I can see him. He's in my sights. Come on, Killian, hold him off because he's, he's catching you again. You need to dig, you need to dig. <sighs> 700 meters to go, Killian. <sighs> I'm absolutely peddling squares. 600 meters to go. Just needs to get out his wheel now. <sighs> oh, Connor's appeared. Connor's making the catch. Connor's edging past Killian with 500 meters to go. Killian go, Killian's counter-attacking. He's surging. He's over 300 watts, 330 watts. He's 190 beats a minute. That's it, Killian, push now. Real push to finish, you can kill him. He's just spent so much energy catching you back up. <laughs> the pain etched across these two faces. I just can't distance him. It's gonna come down to a sprint, I can feel it. Starting to plan for that now. Killian's into the last 240 meters. Oh, it's just neck and neck between the two oh, of them God, now. Connor's had to go super deep. Killian, oh. just go, just bury yourself. Just go, go until you black out. Just really kill yourself now. Just go, go, go. Last two minutes. Killian opens up his sprint. He's got, a sprint. He's got six or 600 watts. He's just hit there after an hour and 30, and he's doing 600 watts. Connor's, Connor's on his knees, he can't respond. Killian's already pulled out three seconds. He's got a hundred meters to go. Take it to the line, Killian. Come on, just dig, dig, dig. Just kill yourself. Absolutely annihilate yourself, Killian. You've got four seconds to go. Just keep going, because he's coming back. Just keep going, just keep going, take the line. 50 meters. Go on, Killian. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, he's done him. He's done him. Amazing. Oh, Killian. That was an amazing sprint at the end. That was probably good. Right, your FTP, you said it was 200 watts when you did the test. You did 177 for an hour and 32, which is amazing. That is such an effort. Oh, that was an incredible effort. I just could not close him. My, my everything was cramping. He just absolutely demolished me. Fair play. What a beast. What a beast is a secret weapon. Oh blown away mate. Oh my legs, oh, I feel like if I get off the bike I'll just, <laughs> everything will cramp. Do a little bit of a cool down, it's probably sensible. Oh. Yeah that's it, keep the legs spinning. <sighs> there we go, Killian's final effort up out to Zwift, you did absolutely amazing. So your time there, it's 32% faster than a few months back, 83 minutes yeah. you got up out to Zwift. That's incredible, 32% improvement yeah. in just a few months. Oh, absolutely over the moon with that. I mean, I started today and I would have been happy with anything other than under 90 minutes and to get 83, 20, oh, I'm absolutely you should over be. the moon. I mean, you put the work in, you've been riding your heart out yeah. and the attack's only a few weeks away. So that is just looking amazing right now. You're yeah. in good shape. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> incredible job, 32%. I still can't quite get over it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments what you made of Killian's effort and do give him some support as we head towards the attack now. Key moments for our Irish hero. Thanks, of course, to Zwift for getting in shape too because, um, well, you can see, it was, uh, you played a blind with all that training. Yeah, my, my wife Joanna's happy too. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Right now, though, I think you should get some recovery. I need to recover myself. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned to GCM Plus. Find out how Killian gets on in the attack. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.